Fragile. I wonder what just got dropped off from me. Alrighty, the leg lamp is all out of the box, put together, and ready to be lit. Right under here we have the switch. Setting one, you get the leg lamp that lights up independently. Setting two, you get the lamp shade that lights up independently. And then setting three, you get both of them lit up together, which is probably how I'm going to be displaying this all month. Now, as you can see, I decided to put this right in the front room window where it belongs, and this is the full-size 50-inch replica leg lamp. They do offer a bunch of different sizes for these, but I wanted the actual replica of what is seen in the movie. You know, I knew I was only going to buy this once, so I didn't want to buy a 20-inch or a 45-inch. I wanted the full-size real replica. I believe that this is the only model that features the movie accurate knobby knee and the butt cheek up at the top of the leg that Ralphie was reaching for in the movie. I think all the other ones actually end slightly lower than that. All of the tassels are individual up here. The lampshade. It's a nice soft fabric. I hope my cats aren't going to want to scratch this up because it seems like something they would really enjoy tearing apart. The stocking. This is an actual stocking that goes over the leg all the way down. The shoe, I'm not sure. This feels like it could actually be a real shoe that was attached. And then at the bottom, we have a nice wooden base. You've got the cord. It only runs on the cord. Didn't look like there were any options to use batteries on this one. And then as for the leg itself, I'm not 100% sure what it is actually made out of. It does kind of have the sound of a normal blow mold, but definitely feels thicker. So hopefully that's going to be pretty durable just in case this gets knocked over at some point. And this is something I'm going to be concerned about all month. Now the price for this. This was a little bit expensive, which is the reason I wanted to buy it once and only once. I got it on sale right from their website for $2.10 shipped Cyber Monday special. And I think it is pretty good for the price. The one thing I was slightly disappointed that they did not include was the light bulb. You know, you pay over $200 something, I was expecting it to be ready to display right out of package, but couldn't do that, had to go out and get a light bulb first. Also, they did include this little flyer, you can now stay overnight at Ralphie's house, and bookings start at 400 a night. Little bit steep for me, but if you want to check it out, you can go see more information on the Christmas Story House's website. And there you have it. I have wanted to have a replica leg lamp in my collection for years, and I'm really happy I decided to finally buy one. Most people in my neighborhood, they decorate more for Christmas than they do for Halloween. You know I'm a Halloween guy, but I think I'm going to throw my hat into the Christmas decorating ring a little bit this year. I'm pretty positive that no one in my area has one of these, so... Hey, I'm the first one around here to finally get a leg lamp. But anyways, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe, and be sure to check out some more of my videos in the future.